Hello, we're going to try to create today an assessment in School City, but not using an item bank. We just want to create one, a key for an assessment. This is making an assumption that you have a, a test already in existence, maybe a hard copy of it, that you're going to give the students and all you want them to do is put their answers in School City. Okay, so I'm going to go to, I'm in my launch pad, I go to assessments and I go to create an assessment and we'll choose the first one, answer key only. So I put a name of a test in. I put the the subject. I'm going down here and remember we're going to choose to select the course group. So find that subject and then we're going to go to next. We'll find our subject down here. Find the big picture item and find the respective teaks. Notice how the the teaks don't indicate how many questions they have in the item bank because we're not using the item bank. So go to next. And then it's going to ask me how many numbers, how many um, questions we have. We're going to say five. It's going to ask me to update that and it gives me those five choices. You can choose which question type you want for each one of the questions. You can do constructive response. If you want to put a numerical response in, I'm going to default to multiple choice how many choices um, of answer choice they have, and you can rearrange the, the, the letterings of it. Put your, put your um, answers in. If you want to attach a rationale for each one of the answers, of which one of the selections you can or not, if you want to weight them differently, then you can, and then you need to attach your, your standards to them. Okay, I go to next. This is where I end up um, designating performance levels. I'm going to de default to the ACP because it has the ABC kind of range. But if you are an EOC tested area, you can go down and scroll down and find your respective um, a subject. And it defaults to whatever the, the performance levels are. Now here is where I actually attach the assessment. So I'm going to go to Upload Student Assessment. And I'm going to File, Find My uh, File. Now. Is it de defaults here and it has to be in PDF. So if it's in Word or anything else, you're gonna have to convert it to PDF and then you'll be able to um, see it. And it should give me a preview. My computer is running a little bit slow, okay? But I should be able to see the assessment here, okay? I've done that. Now I'm gonna go in and change certain settings. If it's a math class, you need to make sure you do that. You can change the time and all that information. I like to display a timer, so I wanna keep kids abreast of how much time they have. Um, star test mode. I want them to practice the, the star test mode, so I'm gonna choose yes. Add two calculators, the advanced calculator and scientific calculator. I'm gonna go down and if, I, if there's any features down here that I want, I, um, I could select them also. And then if I want to add um, like some kind of assess assignment to give them if they perform poorly on this, I can go and do a PRA. I haven't created a video on that yet. So I'll do that at a separate date, a different date, but I'm going to publish it. It takes a second to load everything up and publish. And once I publish it, if you want to go back and look at your advanced settings, you can, but otherwise it's going to take you to your manage assessment screen and you should be able to find your assessment there. That's okay here and make any provisions that you want. You need to activate them and all that. Okay. Hopefully that helps.